So what can you have from your kitchen that can help you with this bronchial cough, respiratory issues, fever, and other immune sucking things that are going on from the coronavirus, as well as flu influenza throughout the year. I want to show you in this quick video so you can take this and if you're going shopping, you can pick up these items. If you're feeling um, tightness in your chest and you have that cough that just will not go away, get a regular onion and love this knife, is that serious? Slice it into thin pieces. Warm it up at 250 degrees for 10 minutes. Wrap it in a cheesecloth or a paper towel and apply it to your chest but while laying down. This will loosen up all of the mucus that's stuck in your respiratory area. So you want to get a few onions that could be very helpful when warmed up for your chest. And it can also get rid of that nagging cough, especially at nighttime. You could do this on children as well as yourself. Very soothing, smells great, wonderful. Of course, being Italian, who doesn't love garlic? Now, have it roar. Just take a clove, put it into your water bottle or a glass of water. It's great for social distancing because people would not like to eat raw garlic for the fact that it does have an odor to it. But now is the time. So if you're feeling a fever, get this in you. If you want to boost your immune system, add it to your water. Um, cook with it, bake it. If you have a fever and the Tylenol and Motrin is not working, take this roar, stick it into a food processor, add water, then apply it to your bare feet. But you want to coat your feet with either coconut water or olive oil so you don't burn yourself. This is proven to bring down a fever and it's great. Yes, you will end up absorbing it from your feet throughout your body and you will smell garlic. So it's going to help. It's antiviral, antibacterial. Bay leaves. Many people don't realize that bay leaves could be made into a tea. And this is great for your immune system. It also breaks up mucus. It's great for respiratory. It's good for your skin and your hair. Um, but it really does boost the immune system. And if you're cooking, throw it into rice or meat. It gives it a lovely flavor. Then we have our lemon. Squeeze your lemon. Use actual lemon, not essential oils, to get the vitamin C. What nature put into this, because this is very good for you. Um, ginger. Cut some ginger, put it into your water or your tea. It's great for inflammation. It's going to help your, boost your immune system. And if you do have any respiratory issues, it can help as a decongestant as well. Apple cider vinegar, I'm a big fan of this. This is also going to help your digestion system and help um, get rid of candida, bacteria, viral. And then, goggle with some sea salt. It's really helpful. It's important to keep your mouth, your throat, and everything clear. Then there's two products that would be great to have as a first aid kit. Activated charcoal and clay. Why? If you're experiencing any type of GI issues, you can put, you could sprinkle some of the clay into your water and it will help settle your stomach. It also pulls out toxins. And activated charcoal is great to pull out toxins and help with any GI issues. Just remember, you never want to take this with any medication or any supplements because it will absorb those as well. So all of this are natural remedies to boost your immune system, help decongest, and also keep your mucous membranes healthy. Always go with the advice of your medical practitioner. I'm just here to show you that there are natural remedies to really help your lungs and your respiration. So become your best health advocate today. Don't wait scared in the corner for something to happen. Boost your immune system. Help your mental health by knowing you are taking a positive step today to a healthier you for today and tomorrow. Remember, your health is worth it because you are worth it. Bye now.